A Lancaster grocery store going up in flames, forcing six people to run for their lives. And it also destroyed a home next to the shop as well. Did you get a view of all the damage right there. This is CBS 21's Yasmin Cowan. She's been there dealing with this dramatic scene and how it could have also been worse. Yasmin. Joel D, if I could give you one word to describe this fire, it was devastating. It, the fire was so bad that six people, including a pregnant woman, were forced to jump from that window. They did have firefighters to assist them, and they went to the hospital, and they were released. Everything is fine, but this fire has left a burn, a burn in the community. I just heard a really big explosion, um, and when I heard the big explosion, I just seen people start jumping out from the top of the um, store like where the apartment is and it just went from there and it was just a lot of black smoke. Zane Schaefer recalls the moments a fire swallowed a grocery store saying she saw those inside escape just in the nick of time. Schaefer tells me it felt like a life or death moment for her since she lived right next door. They literally got everybody out the houses and we were not allowed back in until everything was clean. We had the gas smell. Um, and I immediately was like, I need somebody to come check it because I have my kids, so I have to protect mine. This grocery store you see right here was a gem for people here growing up. But as you can see towards the front, there is some damage. There are windows boarded up, but towards the back is where you see just devastating destruction here. I mean, the back of the building is completely black. The home adjacent to it towards your left has windows boarded up. And at this point, I mean, it is deemed unhabitable. It's always been a very good store. We never really had an actual like bad problem with it. Um, we just love it and you know it's part of the community here so it, it's kind of a tragedy that it's now gone and we have to deal with the fire of it and the loss. So. And it's one of the neighbors I spoke with said if it wasn't for the concrete wall separating the grocery store and her home she could have died, and she said the homes are all connected, so it could have been a bad outcome for her, but also for the community. Live in Lancaster County, I'm Yasmin Cowan. Back to you, Joel.